Head it away, Shelby. Heads it, looking for Caro, who wins the header. Oh, it's oh, cleared. God, they want a handball again. Dundale they want a handball again. Oh, no. It's all right, come on. Oh, my God, they are looking at it. Oh, it's no. exactly the same. No, I think I'm going to give this, you know. I think I'm going to give this. It's away from Dyer's body. Oh, my God, they're going to give His it. His back's turned. Like, what's he supposed to do? I think they're going to give it. His back's turned. What's he going to do? Give it. What's he supposed to do with his back? Doesn't turned? matter if your arms away from your body. It's a penalty. That's the new rule. Oh, oh is Carroll offside? No, he's onside. Oh my God, they're going to give a penalty to Newcastle. Have they oh given it? God. I don't know, but they are going to give it. They are going to give it. I can tell you right now. They're, they're looking for offside, so it means they're going to give the penalty. They're going to give it. They're going to give He's it. Off. I'm telling you. He's off. He's off. Well, they're drawing it. They're drawing it. Please be a millimetre offside. Please. He's off. Look at his hand. How's that not off? Come on. you got to give this as offside. You have to give this as offside. Is they're going to give a penalty if he's onside here. Oh, I can't tell. I think he's just off, but I don't know. He's offside. I don't know, man. He's onside. Oh, my God, they've given it onside. It's a penalty. It's a fucking penalty. I can't believe it. They've given it onside. They're going to give it a penalty. Oh, he's checking it. He's checking it. He's gone to look, but they're going to give it. They're going to give it because that's what they give. They're going to give it because they give these penalties now. It's a joke of a decision. It's not a penalty, but they're going to give it because his arm's away from his body. So that's it. It's a penalty. That's a new rule. <sighs> oh, it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. He can't, he's, he's got his back to it. It was obvious we were going to get punished after we didn't put away our chances. It was obvious we were going to get punished. It was obvious. For God's sake. This is what happens when you don't put away your chances. I can't believe it. <sighs> I mean, I can believe it, but I... It's ridiculous. This new rule is ruining football. It's a joke. It's a joke. This new handball rule is an absolute farce. It's an absolute farce. Oh. <sighs> penalty to Newcastle. It's a penalty in the 95th in the 95th minute. minute. What's up, guys? Welcome back. We have drawn 1-1 against Newcastle. Welcome back to the fan show and what was an extremely, extremely frustrating day for Tottenham. After what you could argue was probably our best performance of the season, we've ended up with just a point to show for it after a 97th minute penalty for Newcastle. Callum Wilson slotting home after a very, very... Very, I'll put in a third very there, controversial. Put in a fourth. Um, fourth very. Uh, controversial handball given against Eric Dyer. Um, Has the whole football world up in arms, as I can see on Twitter and uh, most other places, that everyone is very angry with the new handball rule. But Tottenham have drawn only 1-1 one, one against Newcastle. Um, we'll get the fans on in a minute. Um, but yeah, what a frustrating, frustrating game. Like you said, first half... Best performance of the season, arguably the best performance under Jose Mourinho. We came out second oh, half. No. We were not fast enough. Um, I'm just seeing now Human Son has picked up a hamstring injury and could be out for a while or is oh, going to be out for a while. God, that's such bad news. I'm so really... that's even worse news uh, than the decision. It really is. I mean... That's more bad news. This is um, getting from bad to worse. It's just going from worse to terrible uh, but look, we've got a game to talk about and it's it finished one all at the end of the day. We deserve to win the game, but what happens when you don't take your chances? Um, the team can always come back and bite you, no matter how it is. Um, you know, a deflection, a bad decision, whatever it is. If you want to look at the positive, it's probably one of the best team games that they've played. I mean, mm -hmm. you try and pick out a man of the match, it's very difficult. You know, I've got six fast precise, playing with intent, uh, being creative. Um, but uh, 
a 24 shots on goal. Yeah. 20, 20, 24 shots altogether, 20 of them on goal. I mean, I don't, I can't remember there have been that many uh, uh, goal, I mean, shots on goal. I think it was a great team game. And that's, if you like, and that's what you should, we should be saying is that it's the best team game we've had. And that, and that in the end is the most important thing. Um, at this time, at this stage of things, that we that we play the best team we can, and let's hope that the bad luck we had, we all get back with some good luck later on. That was definitely not a penalty. He had a, he's had his back to the the uh, uh, the ball, and it bounced off somebody else onto the back of his arm. What's you know, he supposed to do? What's he supposed or... to do? That's right. Put his hands behind his back. And even then, the, the ball would still hit his shoulder. Yeah, so, yeah, know, the, the rule has to be changed. And I, I, if we've got to go through the whole season uh, with this stupid rule, because people are playing to it now. I think that, I think, you know, they, they, we've got, there's such good players around. They're playing to get the handball. So, honestly, today, up until, like, even when we were up 1 0, I know everyone's going to say today, you know, you put the game at risk when it's 1 0. That's true, but this was the safest 1-0 that we've had in a long time for, I'd say, 85 minutes of the match. Like Jose said in his post-match uh, press conference, they didn't get near our, our box for a majority of the game. Mm -hmm. So That's it was right. very safe. Like, and, this, and these are the type of performances you kind of expect to see from Jose. So I was very encouraged for most, for most of the game. But... Um, yeah, I mean, there's not much you could say about when it ends like that. It just leaves such a bad taste in your mouth. I mean, it's definitely not a hot take at this point to say it's one of the worst rules going at this point. I mean, how, it's mm -hmm. really the game. How do you watch that much of a game and then something that – like, that's not even a threatening goal-scoring opportunity. He's 10 yards away. He's clearly just heading it down, hoping for something. That's the new strategy, and honestly, the shithousery today from from Carroll, that's that's what that's the only threat they had, and and that and it looked like I was saying to my buddy when we were watching the game, it looks like that's the strategy, Andy Carroll, come on, it down, hope it hit, hope it hit somebody's arm. That was his strategy. It wasn't like he was trying to knock it onto somebody. It looked like he was literally just trying to flick it off someone's arm. The rule has to go. I don't think anybody um, would dispute that at this point. Even Steve Bruce after the match, he, I don't think he commended his team once. He just said, this, this rule needs to go. And the managers, yeah, play, yeah, and the managers need to get together and, um, and sort this out right away. I know I hear a lot of managers like Roy Hodgson, Steve Bruce, saying things like we need to get together. They, they can't just say it. This needs to happen this week. This is ruining matches every day. This is two days in a row now. Crystal Palace had it almost even worse yesterday. I think they, they had the worst of it. That was the, the cheapest handball. So, I don't know. The rule has to go. I was so annoyed about this this rule. We played good today under Jose, right? Uh, I just feel like, come on. Like, this rule is just, oh. I, we deserve to win today. Like, Pierre was on the middle was great. Um, Jose, Jose's tactics worked. Newcastle can't even touch us in the first half but now it's just completely ruined by this new rule but of course we have ourselves to blame because we should have killed all this game with maybe the lamella chance from the free kick at the end but yeah it's generally harsh 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 by the referee today but we have got the kill of this game but but now seeing i don't know um i don't know has, has anyone brought this point but do you agree? Like, um, like, it, are we kind of quite reliant on Son these days? We kind of quite low because after he goes off, I know Steve is Steve Bergwijn is good, but I don't know. I feel like it's 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 we're getting a bit reliant on him. I'm I'm really worried after when he's injured. Yeah, I agree with you. I think we are very reliant on Son. Son provides that outlet for us, that pace in attack with good finishing. Like, he hit the post, the bar in the first half. He could have had a couple mm -hmm. goals. We do rely on him a lot um, for that bit of star quality, which we're hoping maybe Bale can supplement if Son's out. But we've got three games coming up this week. Oh, Son, no. apparently... Apparently, Son is now going to be out for a while. However long a while how is, long, we have to how see. Long is it? I'm not sure. We don't know. We don't know. But apparently, Mourinho said he was got a hamstring injury and he's going to be out oh, for a while. Jesus a Christ. while. 
so I'm guessing it's and we're talking months, not weeks, which is oh, awful, shit. awful <laughs> news. Which is yeah, exactly. Which is my reaction as well. How are we going to cope this week? And while he's out, no, like I think, I think somebody needs to step up, like because again, I think um, I know Son going away is an extremely bad thing for us because we're so reliant on this guy. Because I mean, when Harry. And him are playing together. You know, Son when when Son plays well, Harry performs well, right? He he helps Harry to perform well. You know, they have a link. But now this link is gone. I mean, um, I don't know. Like obviously, some of the players that come off the bench, Steve has to step up. Lucas has to step up now. We need other players to step up now because, and now we we kind of hoping for Gareth to come back in. After when he's out for a couple of months, now now we're quite in trouble at the moment, to be honest. But there's positives. But now with Son out, I don't know. I'm worried. I'm very worried. Uh, let's see what he has to say. Oh, yes. oh, Alex, how are you oh, doing, man. mate? Gutted. Yeah. Like absolutely gutted. I mean, what an absolute disgrace! I can't. I can't believe it. Do you see what Mourinho posted? On his, no, um, what was he posted? Yeah, I, it was just like a picture saying eight years ago today, like something his hands like that. I can't, I don't, I don't really <laughs> what it means, but it means something, you know, you know him, um, you know. But, it, it's just crazy. But Alex, on on the day of atonement, does the referee have a lot to atone for today? <laughs> um, I think the referee, the in terms of the handball decision, there's nothing really the referee can do about that because that's that is the rules. That's the rules of the game. Um, and so, you know, that's that's it, if you want to call it VAR or whatever. But the thing is, the free kick before it was not a free yeah. kick. Yeah. You can't, you honestly can't even, you know, I, I oh, and maybe the only thing the referee could do was that he was um, bu- um, facing away from the ball. So, you know, it's just an absolute, absolute disgrace. I don't know. I'm just so annoyed about it, honestly, because we should have won this game so easily (laughs) like it was we played so well in the first half and yeah maybe we should have we definitely should have got more goals definitely should have got more goals in the first half but i'm just so annoyed i I phoned my stepdad just after the game he was like he's he's a chelsea fan and i was like he was like yeah um how it's literally had the ball here and it and it it wasn't even looked at and we also had end on belly i think it was um there was another time the shells right at the end of the game yeah there were two two opportunities where we also should... It didn't even get looked at, it seems. So, like, it's, it's bonkers. <laughs> it's just unreal. And I know everyone's going to be talking about this on your fan cams today, but it's just ridiculous. I'm so annoyed, but at least yeah. the team performance was good. Let's bring Therapy on Carl is. from Newcastle Fans TV. Uh, let's see what he has to say. Carl. Yes, Carl. Yes, Carl. How you doing, mate? Uh, probably better than you, boys. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you definitely are doing better than us. I can guarantee you that right now. Um, but yeah... I mean, I mean, Spurs dominated that game pretty much from start to finish, you'd probably say. Newcastle's first shot on target was the penalty in the 97th minute. Um, you, I would say Newcastle definitely improved in the second half than in the first half, but you didn't really hurt Spurs. It was kind of, you know, if that penalty doesn't get given, you'd probably say Tottenham have seen it, saw the game out relatively comfortably at the end of the day. Um, but you did get that penalty. You have taken stolen a point, I'll probably say, um, at the end of the day. But how do you assess how the game went for yourself? I, I, I can't put it in any other words than what you just said there, to be honest, mate. Um, you were, I thought you played us off the park, which I kind of expected. Um, I didn't expect us to go 1-0 down so early. So when that happened, I thought, yeah, the floodgates are going to open and uh, it's going to be a, a cricket score, to be honest. You had some fantastic chances. I thought Carl Darlow was excellent. But other than him, you know, I think we were poor. But that was more down to how well you played, to be honest. I don't, I can't... It, it's difficult because some Newcastle fans will watch this. They'll think I'm a Spurs fan. But again, I thought you were brilliant today. And we... Uh, it's just... And, you know, it's hard to say this because we've got a point. But it was a pathetic decision. It really is. a. It's a pathetic thing. For you to lose out on, on three points because of that is ridiculous, to be honest. Um, but yeah, we're obviously, we're, we're going to take the points however we can get them. But if the shoe was on the other foot, I'd be absolutely fuming, lads, to be fair. it's, uh, it's t- Obviously, I'm happy we've got a point, but it, it's 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 weird um, because of the manner, manner it's come about. 
Yeah, and even when a team like yourselves, who obviously before the game you would have bitten your hand off for a point, and then you've gotten a point, and yet you don't even seem happy about it. Like, yeah. what, is that, what is that? What does that? What does that show about the state of football at the moment? Exactly. Uh, you know, I've just like all of the lads in, in not in the Newcastle fans TV group, but my friends throughout the WhatsApp group who are obviously a lot of Midlands fans and, and, and whatever. But we, everyone's just said the same thing, and like. Carragher said himself, like, football's gone. It's hard to, to disagree with that. Like, it's ridiculous. I just, like, you you guys have asked me the question. I don't know how, how we go about changing it moving forward, but something needs to be done. Something needs to be done. And like you said, you know, we've come away. We've got a point. There will be a lot of fans that will, you know, probably give you stick for it because, obviously, it's the opposition. But really, realistically, if you're looking at it, it's... it's um, it's a poor show. It is a poor show because we deserve nothing from that game. Oh, how are you doing, my friend? How are you boys? Are you guys okay? No. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm not okay. <laughs> well, oh, thank you for asking. Yeah. Thank you for asking. The, the Premier League and the players and the clubs have to do something. They have to make a stand by it because it's just, you know, there's no point in me watching football anymore. You're just killing the game. And I know everybody's saying, oh, it's not now. It's going to affect everybody. It's going to affect everybody. Mm -hmm. yeah. and, and another thing is because I think it's going to affect us more the way we play football. Because we're not going to go 5 4 nil every time our big teams. Jose will sit back, win by 1 nil. you know, defensive, playing really well, playing a good playing good defensive uh, defensive formation, and we, we kill games out. So I think it's going to affect teams that, that don't go out and smash teams up. You know, Liverpool, like, I mean, it might not affect Liverpool, but they might score 4 5 after. But I think with us, teams that sit back, the way Jose, Jose plays his football is going to affect us a lot more. Thank you all for joining us. Like, subscribe and comment. And as always, come, come on, on you Spurs. Spurs.